Unlike Brian Johnson, here is David Pasco, an advocate for life and wellness who is aging more slowly. David's biological age is less than 31 years old, even though he has lived on Earth for 61 years. His longevity program is much less expensive than Brian's $2 million a year, at about $115,000. David, in contrast to Brian, eats meat and doesn't severely restrict calories, mainly to preserve his naturally elevated testosterone levels. Dave is proof that you can dramatically slow down aging without going to drastic lengths. David follows a rigorous daily schedule. He rises without the use of an alarm clock in order to begin his day stress-free. After some light stretching in bed, he engages in various activities, such as using a mini trampoline, floor stretches, foam roller exercises, and an inversion table. Next, David looks at the results of his sleep on a fitness tracker. He takes a range of tablets in the morning for anti-aging and health reasons, including peptides, vitamins, and prescription drugs. The next step is to drink a nutrient-rich beverage that contains collagen, probiotics, lemon tea, and vitamins. He then receives red light therapy and does high-intensity cardio exercises, usually sprints on a stationary bike. David also values getting outside before dawn and going for a run or stroll. He combines meditation, strength training, and a 45-minute infrared sauna session with a substantial meal. David makes it a daily goal to study through YouTube videos, audiobooks, and podcasts. He takes evening vitamins, eats an early meal between 3 o'clock and 5 p.m., and then works out for flexibility and balance before going to bed. Hyaluronic acid, regenerator creams, and moisturizers are all part of his skincare regimen to keep him looking young. He makes sure he gets a good eight hours of sleep every night, measuring both the quantity and quality of his sleep using a sleep tracker, and prays and muses about his blessings for the day before bed. David supports routine testing to halt the spread of disease and prevent the unnecessary use of dangerous drugs. He examines his NAD levels and other blood parameters frequently, and he consistently modifies his interventions and supplementation dosages to optimize his indicators, aiming for ranges comparable to those observed in collegiate athletes. In addition, an annual Trace Elements hair tissue mineral analysis and spectrocell micronutrient panels, which are provided by Life Extension and Labor, are conducted on his urine biomarker to assess the amounts of micronutrients and toxins in his body. In order to assess his muscle mass, body fat, and bone density, David also gets yearly DEXA scans. Using telomere length, glycine age, real diagnostic epigenetic clock, and blood biomarkers, he calculates his biological age. David has had a number of DNA tests, including full genome sequencing through Nebula Genomics. David takes precautions, such as filtering the water and air in his home, to reduce needless exposure to the environment and prevent disease. He chooses natural cleaning, health and beauty products, including cookware, food, and drink containers free of chemicals like phthalates, biosphere old, and polytetrafluoroethylene. He also takes cold exposure in the form of cold showers, indoor or outdoor plunges, and maintaining a lower temperature in his home as additional interventions for emergent health benefits. For plasma apheresis, instead of paying for plasma extraction, David donates plasma twice weekly for two to three weeks every three months. He engages in hyperbaric oxygen therapy with 10 consecutive days of 90-minute sessions every 6 to 12 months. Demonstrating a commitment to exercise, David maintains his physique and focuses on the four pillars of fitness. 1. Cardio-respiratory fitness David rides a stationary bike for high-intensity intervals to increase his V2 max, since he knows that longevity and high cardio-respiratory fitness, high V2 max, are strongly correlated. 2. Strength and muscle David lifts weights and uses home training programs like P90X and Tap Out XT, which incorporate strength, plyometrics, kickboxing, cardio, AB training, and yoga. He recognizes that strength and muscle are important indicators of a long, healthy lifetime. 3. Metabolic Flexibility David trains his body to effectively transition between using fatty acids and glucose for energy, a skill he acquires through strenuous outdoor walks, strenuous hikes, and balancing and stability exercises. He gets the most of his protein from fish, poultry, eggs, and grass-fed beef and hog. Even though it might interfere with motor cell signaling, David understands the value of protein in the development and maintenance of muscle. He alternates between consuming a lot of protein and using supplements to partially offset motor activity. Sweet potatoes, squash, and rice are the main sources of carbs. Eggs, meat, 
Fish, butter, avocados, and extra virgin olive oil are the main sources of lipids. He makes sure you eat a lot of veggies. In sources of lipids, he makes sure you eat a lot of veggies. You're not alone if you think David's longevity routine is too complex and out of reach for the typical individual. It's debatable which elements of David's regimen sleep, exercise, nutrition, skin care regimen, and therapy regimen have the biggest influence on his youthful look and chronological age. What are your thoughts? Feel free to comment below if you'd like to see more longevity protocols from those who have managed to dramatically slow down their aging.